Hello, good friends. Today's book is Big Bird Goes to the Doctor. It was a beautiful day on Sesame Street. Grover was showing everyone his new tricycle. Be careful, Grover, said Ernie. Don't go too fast. Watch out, yelled Oscar. You almost ran over my pet worm, Slimy. Oh, my goodness, cried Grover, as he wheeled around the trash can and almost ran into Big Bird. Good morning, everybody. Granny Bird came hurrying down Sesame Street. Have you seen Big Bird? It's time for us to go to the doctor. Big Bird hid behind the lamppost. Going for a checkup was not one of his favorite things. When they got to the doctor's office, Harry Monster was just leaving. He was pushing his baby sister, Flossie, in a baby monster carriage. Hi, Henry, said Big Bird. Is Flossie sick? No, said Harry. She just had her checkup and she's fine. Did it hurt? Big Bird asked. But Flossie was too little to answer. Big Bird and Granny sat down in the doctor's waiting room. Two kids were building with blocks and others were looking at picture books. Some children didn't feel like playing. Do you want to help me with my puzzle? asked Prairie Dawn. Sure, said Big Bird. He didn't hear Nurse Nightingale until the second time she called him. You're next, Big Bird, she said. You and your granny can come in now. Please take your clothes off now, Big Bird, the nurse said. So far, she had seen six children, two furry monsters, and one twiddle bug. I forgot, she said. You have feathers instead. That's all right, said Big Bird. Everyone makes mistakes. Granny sat down in the corner. Just then, Dr. Staywell came in. Hello, Big Bird, she said. How are you feeling? Fine, said Big Bird in a tiny squeak. The doctor sat down and opened a folder with Big Bird's name on it. Have you been eating well, she asked. Oh, yes, said Big Bird. I eat three meals a day and have one birdseed milkshake for a snack. Have you been sleeping well, asked the doctor. Yes, I'm snug in my nest every night at eight o'clock. The doctor asked him a few more questions and wrote carefully on Big Bird's chart. Excuse me, doctor, said Nurse Nightingale. There is a furry blue monster out here who fell off his tricycle and hurt his arm. Oh, my goodness, said the doctor. Tell Grover I'll be right there. She turned to Big Bird. I'll be back in a few minutes. The nurse will weigh and measure you now. Let's see how tall you are, said Nurse Nightingale. Big Bird stood on the scale. Eight feet, two inches. Wow, said Big Bird. I've grown seven inches since last year. The nurse moved the weights across the top of the scale. A hundred and fifty-two pounds. The biggest kid I've ever seen, she said to herself. When Dr. Staywell returned, she told them that Grover would be fine. Now, Big Bird, she said, open your beak so that I can look at your throat. Big Bird opened wide. Dr. Staywell shined a light into his throat and pushed his tongue down gently with a flat wooden stick. Ah, said Big Bird. She shined another flashlight into Big Bird's ears. They weren't easy to find under all the feathers. The doctor felt Big Bird's tummy, neck, and under his wings. It tickled, and Big Bird giggled. Now please walk across the room for me, she said. I want to check your posture. Big Bird walked across the office, and the doctor saw that he stood straight and tall. The doctor put a stethoscope on Big Bird's chest and listened to his heart. She let Big Bird listen, too. He heard his heart go ka-thump, ka-thump. She took his temperature with a thermometer. 98.6, she said. That's normal. Dr. Staywell tapped Doc Big Bird's knee with a small rubber hammer, and it made his leg jerk forward. You have very good reflexes, she told him. Thank you, said Big Bird politely. He wasn't sure what reflexes were, but it sounded like a compliment. Now I'm going to check your eyes, Dr. Staywell told Big Bird. Do you know your alphabet? Oh, yes, he said proudly. B is my favorite letter because I have two B's in my name. We'll cover one eye with your hand and read the letters on the chart, said the doctor. 
Big Bird read all the letters, especially the B's, in a clear, loud voice. Very good, said the doctor. That was fun, said Big Bird. Am I done now? Big Bird, said Granny, you must have a shot now to keep you from getting sick. Will it hurt, he asked. Only for a minute, said the doctor. Granny put her arm around Big Bird, and the doctor held his wing and quickly gave him the shot. See, that wasn't so bad, was it, the doctor asked. You were very brave. The doctor put a small round band-aid over the spot. Goodbye, Big Bird, said Dr. Staywell. Stay well, and you won't have to visit me until your next checkup. Thank you, Doctor, said Big Bird. I'll see you next year. Here's a balloon for you, said the nurse, and one for Grover, and one for Cookie Monster. Thank you, Nurse Nightingale, they said. So long. How's your arm, Big Bird, asked Grover as they left the doctor's office. It is only a sprain, said Grover. I will be back on my tricycle in a few days, but I promised the doctor to be more careful. Big Bird, Granny, Grover, and Cookie Monster headed back to Sesame Street. How did it go at the doctor's office, asked David when they walked into Hooper's store. Fine, said Big Bird. The doctor looked at my throat and my ears and watched me walk around, and I listened to my heart and read the alphabet. Then I got a shot, and it only hurt for a minute. He showed David the band-aid on his wing. And my arm feels better already, said Grover. Two cuppy cakes, please, said Cookie Monster. Thank you for sharing with me, friends. Have a good day.